so there's a lot to sample in today's version of Tasting Tucson. And Jose, you can enjoy these sitting outside at a food truck. Park. A little outdoor picnic dining, if you want to call it. Quinn. It. It's very low key setting at the pit food truck on the east side. And one of these small businesses is doing some really cool stuff with sushi. So I wanted to introduce you all to the couple who created Samurai Sombrero because they introduced me to some rolls I'd never tried before. Take a look. Gabriela Delgadillo and Jesus Oleda worked their way up behind sushi kitchens here in town, practicing the meticulous method it takes to make this food. All those years cooking and knowing that a lot of people would always tell us your food is good and we just had this like we should do this on our own. So with the money they saved and a dream fueling their drive, they bought the truck that eventually became Samurai Sombrero. We just said, let's go. And that's why we're so grateful that people turned out like this, that they love our food and they see past the truck, you know, because they, they like what we're cooking. Gabby tells me a lot of their successful ideas come from casual but meaningful conversations with customers. She tells me she also loves it when people share with her that their sushi is the first roll they've ever tasted. They want something different, you know, and food already makes people happy. So they want to try something and, and be, oh my God, this is so good, and it makes you happy. I got to try something new too. Jesus walked me through what they call the death-free foodie roll. Here, the hollowed out jalapeno, dipped in tempura, then fried, is the star of the show. Yes, a lot of people like spicy. We wait two minutes for these to fry, while Jesus breaks out the seaweed paper and lays out the bed of rice. Three avocado slices here, some cucumber sticks, and here's where I'm marveling at Jesus's precision and speed with the maki soup or sushi mat. How many years of practice? I've been doing this for almost 20 years. Time to drizzle on the vegan mayo, lay the paper, slice it into rolls, and put it in the oven for at least two minutes. But we're not done here yet. I don't think, Jesus, I've ever had sweet potato fried like this. No. No. Can I try it today? Jesus takes a whole sweet potato and slices it. The pieces go into the batter and fryer. And then we pivot to slicing this avocado super thin. Fast forward with the same process. The last touch here is sprinkle some black sesame seeds. Regardless of whether you're a meat eater or not, it's still very satisfying. When you hear me being quiet, it's generally a good sign. First thing is the eel sauce just so on the money. And then the next thing I love is the crunch of the jalapeno just seals the deal. That looks delicious. It's like I, you guys hearing me there. It's like I'm trying to make sure I don't have food in my mouth <laughs> as I'm letting you know, but uh, it's part of the job, I yeah. guess. That know. looks great. And you would never know, you know, that's a vegan sushi roll. No. But, and they have regular fish. Yes, too, they do. So too, they go but. classic everything. That's those comfort sushi staples. Yeah. But they do love to like push the little bit of the envelope with very creative rolls. Yeah, it looks great. So Claire, I am excited. Uh, we're going to come back next week's edition and it'll be a two parter for Samurai okay. Sombrero. Jesus and Gabby gave me a lesson. I'm going to show you my attempts to make a California roll so you get at home can see what it actually takes to make a real roll of sushi professionally. That sounds great. I'm sure you'll do a great job.